Welcome to Wednesday Live with Evie. This is number 67, and the topic today is dealing with the unexpected, and I had just a little bit of the unexpected here happen. I couldn't find the go live button. I forgot they moved it. Um, so I have now found it, and we are, we are live. So um, down in the comments below, share where you're watching from today. You know, say hello and where you're watching from so I can say hi back to you. As you can tell, I am in my office. And if you are new to Wednesday Live with Evie, this is where I show up every week, Wednesday at 1 o'clock or a couple minutes after if I've had some technical difficulties. And I share a little bit on a productivity topic um, or on a topic around your business. They all relate to productivity, though. And if you don't know me, my name's Evie Burke, and I work with women entrepreneurs, and I help them take their productivity to a new level. So at the end of the day, they don't have to worry about what didn't get done today or what do I need to do tomorrow, but instead they can be completely and fully present with the people that they're spending their off hours with. So... As I said, today's topic is dealing with the unexpected, and um, today's that's today's topic because I had a little bit of that this week. So early um, last weekend, my husband said or made a comment about how full my schedule was this week, and I kind of looked at him and I said very confidently, my schedule's pretty free this week. You know, it was last week that that is really was really busy, and I had a lot of things going on. And he was like, oh, okay, I must have saw something wrong. Well, then on Sunday, I was planning out my week. You know, I was taking Monday off for Memorial Day. We went out and visited my in-laws. And I realized he was right. I had a lot of things that, that were happening this week, and that's good. Um, so my calendar was full, and the time that I thought I had to get some things done just wasn't there. And there was a time where this would have thrown me into a complete tizzy. You know, I had these things that at the end of last week, I thought, okay, so these are the, the top priorities for next week. I can get those done, no problem. And then I realized that this just wasn't going to be happening. So I could have run around and tried to get all of the things done and really burned myself out. And again, there's a time where I totally would have done that and been frustrated and frazzled and um, exhausted. But I realized that just wasn't going to work for me. And I also, I, I just looked at what, what did I have in my calendar that could be postponed or moved or um, just maybe not attended. And I realized that as I was, again, looking at the calendar, unless I completed a whole heck of a lot on Tuesday, uh, that I wasn't going to be able to attend the networking event that happens on Monday mor Wednesday mornings, last Wednesday of the month, that I really, really love. And so I changed my RSVP because there were a number of other things that I was committed to doing for the week. And something had to give and unfortunately that networking event that I love and I see a few of you uh hey Ra Rochelle you know you're one of the WISA sisters so you understand you know the uh pain uh so to speak of not attending a WISOS meeting when you were hoping to be there oh thanks Rochelle and I see Jen is here I haven't seen you for a while Jen it's good to see you virtual so yeah, I changed my RSVP and I didn't I didn't go. And of course, then one of the things I worked on this morning was what was I going to talk about today on uh, Wednesday Live with Evie? Hey, Stacy. So when you find yourself in a situation where for whatever reason you have to adjust your schedule, whether you did like I did, misjudged your calendar, or you have a project that takes you know 10 times longer than you anticipated, or maybe there's a family emergency and the day ends up being more spent or, or more of the week is spent with family than what you had anticipated, not to mention the mental space that that can take, um, what do you do? So the first step here is acknowledge the situation. Just be really honest with yourself and just say, you know what, 
this is where I am right now. And then that leads to the second step, which is look for what can be adjusted. And so that might be readjusting your priorities and saying, okay, some of these things aren't going to get done this week, but I can do them next week. It might be um, looking at your schedule like I did and deciding that there's an event or something going on that you're just not going to be able to attend. And then the last step is to make the arrangements necessary to um, take the steps necessary to make those adjustments. And the, the only things that I would not recommend are ignoring the problem, just pretending it's not there and try to push through it or dropping everything. I know sometimes when I'm really overwhelmed, I can have the inclination or the, the desire to, you know, crawl into bed and pull the covers up over my head and just drop everything. And neither of those are super great. Um, and sometimes, especially in the cases of family emergencies, it can feel legitimately like you just need to drop everything. But unless you are in a business where you have somebody helping you on a day-by-day -day basis, it's probably not something that you can just do. You probably just can't drop everything without it having some pretty significant implications, right? So if you were working for someone, you would still need to let them know, hey, I'm not going to come into work that day. And I know I don't need to tell you guys this, but if you have, you know, client appointments or things that people are expecting from you, then you just need to let them know, hey, those aren't going to happen. We're going to have to reschedule. And generally, people are extremely, extremely understanding when there's family emergencies. So when you have your, your priorities laid out, when you know what's on your plate, you know what's on your schedule, it makes it really easy to look through and then decide or, or determine who needs to, to know that something has happened. So a couple of years ago, and I think, I think some of you have heard this story before, um, but a couple of years ago, my father-in-law was in the hospital and he spent a week at the local hospital uh, there in Indiana where they live and the, they couldn't figure out what was going on. So he ended up spending a week um, here in Chicagoland at a bigger hospital. And my mother-in-law came and spent the, the week with us. And we weren't sure, you know, going into it, how long he was going to be in the hospital. Was it going to be a couple of days and they were going to figure it out? Or was it going to be, you know, much longer than that? And so I knew that my priorities had changed. Like they had already changed the week before a little bit because we were, you know, doing pretty regular check-ins. We were going to visit. But when they needed to move him, to a different hospital to figure out what was going on. I was like, okay, now, you know, there's really something wrong. We need to, you know, make ourselves available to, to just be there with our family, right? And because I knew what the things were that I had going on, I was able to decide, okay, these are the, the two things or the two, the one project that I'm going to work on this week when I have some time. And if it doesn't get done, that's okay, but ideally I'll have some time with it. And I think it was uh, doing my newsletter, and I think there was one other small thing that I did. And it worked out really well. Um, it gave me a reason like, oh, you know what, there's a lot of people in the room. I can go and I can be somewhere else. And where, you know, family was like, oh, no, you can stay. And I knew it was going to be more comfortable just for the space of the room. No, that's okay. I have some work to do. And so it gave me that excuse to leave that didn't make anybody feel bad, right? So sometimes those things can be helpful. And um, at the time, I was also um, volunteering for a local organization. And I was, I had responsibilities. And so I knew that there were things coming up that they were going to be um, sending me and expecting me to do some things with. And I was able to let them know that, you know, there was a family situation that came up and then they were able to adjust their expectations because I knew that I wasn't going to be available to them, right? So when you can let people know what's going on that, that might be affected, that can be a huge, huge step to like letting that weight off of your shoulders when you have other things going on. So 
again, you know, it's not always going to be a family emergency. Sometimes it's just going to be that hiccup in your schedule. And it's just recognizing that, okay, there's a change that needs to be made. There's something that needs to, to shift. Um, so acknowledging the situation, looking for what can be adjusted, and taking the steps necessary to make that adjustment. So that's that's the content for today. And I would love to know if you have any other things that you do when you have those unexpected things pop up in your business, whether they're the comparably minor things like, oh, I just misread my schedule this week to the, I need to seriously take a step back from my business because there's other things happening in my life that are higher priority. What are some things that you've done to handle that? So one more thing before we finish, I wanted to let you know that the Unnamed Productivity Club, which I've been talking a lot about when I do my Facebook Lives, that the Unnamed Productivity Club um, had eight spots available for new members this month, and they've all been filled. So it's we're currently not accepting new members. But if you want to be the first to know when we are accepting new members again so that you can join us when that happens, uh, head over to oneinsightcloser.com slash unnamed and sign up to be, again, the very first to know when I open those doors. And over the next few months, I am going to be opening the doors just for a few members at a time. And I'm doing this very intentionally. Um, I have not run a program like this before, so I want to make sure that everybody is getting the, the level of support that they've been promised. So I'm, I'm slowly letting people in so that I can get a feel for where this group um, pops out, so to speak. So again, if you want to be um, notified when that happens, let me know by just signing up over there. And let me see, I see Rach, Rochelle said something here. Yes, oh, Rochelle, that's a great one. So going back to the, you know, what do you do? Rochelle says, give myself permission to let things go and reschedule without guilt. Yes, that is a huge one. And um, yeah, I don't have anything to add for that. That's that's complete as it as Rochelle wrote it. So Check Rochelle out. If you haven't met Rochelle, she's really fabulous. So go and, and uh, check out some of the things that, that she does. She also does a live. I don't, I don't remember the time off the top of my head, but she, she has some really good topics, great topics that she talks about too. So hey, Trisha, I see you just joined us. I'm just about, I'm just closing up here. So anyway, that was this week's Wednesday Live with Evie, where we just talked about, you know, what to do with the unexpected. You know, how do you handle the unexpected when it happens in your business? So until next week, much love. Bye, everybody.